Hi, this is Julian for Production Expert. I found a great new feature in Reverberate 3 3.2 that solves an issue that's really common to using convolution reverbs. Convolution reverbs are great for all sorts of reasons, but they're not as flexible and kind of simple to use, shall we say, or simple to change as an algorithmic reverb. Here I've got some drums on, uh, on this track here. Listen to this on its own. Let's just listen to the drums and I'll wind that reverb up a bit. Great. That's all very well, but actually, what if I want it a little bit longer? I want a longer reverb? Well, because it's convolution, I can't just like grab the, the tail and stretch it out. Well, there is a control here called stretch, but it doesn't do quite what you'd imagine, just because what it's doing is it, it's taking the number of samples in that impulse response and just kind of playing them out more slowly. I mean, listen to what happens if I stretch it out. And it's certainly longer compared to. But tonally, it's changing. Listen. And you can hear it's kind of, it, it's slightly more grainy and it's not got as much top end information. Going the other way, it kind of gets a bit more obvious, actually, if I, here it was originally. And compare that to this. And it's very condensed and it's brighter. And yeah, there's changes that come with using this stretch control. That's not the answer. What you could do previously is you could leave it playing at the uh, normal speed, but change the envelope and actually just kind of like turn it down, taper it like you might do a synth patch or something. A little bit fiddly, actually. So, I mean, if I want to do that, what do I do? Uh, I mean, if I pull the hold down and extend the release, that'll get me some of the way there. Let's say I'm aiming for something around this long but it's a bit abrupt there, so if I want to change that, if I click on here and I change the release and maybe make that a bit more linear, well, not linear, it's actually exponential, but looking slightly more linear. Uh, okay, and now it's still a little bit short, so I'll have to go back. Do you see what I mean? It's, it's, it's not super convenient, but it will get there. And I've got my shorter reverb. Okay, great, but a little bit fiddly. There's a better way. I'll show you in another instantiation with a different impulse response. So here we are with a different impulse response. This is one that I recorded. Here's a photo of the room. It was a, it was a dance studio, really, really reverberant. Not a great sounding room, actually. Since been knocked down, so I captured that for posterity. Anyway, here's what it sounded like. Okay. Too long. I want to shorten that. Um, I could do it using the ways that I showed you before, but in 3.2, we've got contour. This is fantastic. Listen to this. So I want it shorter. I just pull down the reverb decay like you would an algorithmic reverb. And that's getting much shorter, but tonally, it's actually stayed pretty much the same. I can't hear any difference in there particularly. Now we have got these other controls as well low decay and high decay, they're not doing anything at all at the moment. This is the top line of it, it's just I want it longer, got it longer. I can go really long actually. Or I can shorten things right down. But I can also, for example here, this has got quite an unhelpful bass overhang, it's, it's a pretty boomy kind of thing. So I can contour that in the same way you would on algorithmic reverb with multipliers. Here we go. I move this. Crossover comes up. Uh, that's probably around about right, actually. And uh, if I shorten down the low decay, this isn't the same sound as you'd get using an EQ. We've got EQs available. Here they are. And if I wanted to cut the bass, I can do that there. But if we look in the routing, see where these EQs are. They're after. They're post-reverb. Uh, the reverb's already happened, and we're just EQing the results. But here, what I can do is I can change the decay time from this crossover point. That's much better. Listen to that kick drum and what's happening there. That's much lighter now. If I wanted to maybe brighten it up instead, what I could do is I could reset that and brighten up the tail, like so. But actually, I'm going to go with this. Put that back in context. And tuck it in there in the mix. Anyway, there we go. Reverberate 3.2 contour. Fantastic.